Greetings everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, today I will uh, show you guys all of my uh, Hong Kong legends. All of my Hong Kong legends uh, DVD collection. Uh, the Hong Kong legend uh, label uh, was very popular in the UK uh, in the early 2000s uh, but sadly they uh, stopped uh, uh, producing and making uh, films they were very dedicated to release um, old school uh, Hong Kong uh, action cinema so you could have uh, Kung Fu films or action films and uh, back then uh, they were the only one who uh, uh, really invested in the uh, putting the en the effort of uh, truly remastering uh, the movie, and also there there were a lot of special features in it. So um, so let's begin. If you can uh, track them down, um, it's uh, uh, I know some of them are becoming very rare and are pretty expensive but I know there's uh, one company and I don't remember exactly the name but if you uh, uh, there's some title that if you um, go on Amazon uh, UK uh, there's a company that uh, uh, bought the right to a couple of uh, Hong Kong Legends uh, films so uh, you can basically have the same uh, uh, quality uh, release but uh, it will not be Hong Kong legend on the on the uh, on the cover but uh, I think there's like maybe 10 or 15 uh, releases out there that uh, you can have and it's and they are pretty cheap but um, obviously if you uh, if you really want to uh, if you really like this label try to to track them down because uh, they're really great so uh, the Hong Kong legend label so let's begin the first movie, Tai Chi Boxer. Uh, it was directed by Yang Wu Ping. And uh, like I said, it, a lot of people, a lot of company put a digitally re restored and remastered edition on their cover, but uh, there half of them are uh, yeah, it's it's not true. So, but with this label, Hong Kong Legend, you can rest assured that it's a real um, collector's edition. So Tai Chi Master is um, uh, early uh, 80s uh, Kung Fu films with uh, Yang Wu Ping. So I, if you know Yang Wu Ping, he is uh, he he makes incredible uh, Kung Fu sequence, uh, a lot of uh, fantasy uh, action sequence, but uh, really really uh, great. Uh, the Millionaires Express with uh, Sam Wong, uh, Yuing Biao, and uh, Sinsa Rock Rock, the, and there's a lot of others. Uh, basically, all of the uh, uh, Hong Kong uh, stars, Kung Fu stars, were in that movie, except Jackie Chang. So uh, it's it's a, it's a it's a good movie. The ending is incredible. There's like a 15-minute fight with everybody, and Sam Wong and Yuing Biao um, also uh, fight each, each other. Uh, I think two times in the film, so uh, really cool film, uh, Millionaire's Express. Uh, this one is pretty cool, uh, it stars uh, Chang Yung Fat, Tiger on the Beat, and uh, it also stars Conan Lee from uh, the Ninja and Dragon, uh, Ninja, uh, Ninja and the Dragon's Den uh, fame. I'll show this movie in a couple of minutes, uh, and um, so it's a it's a cop film, but obviously with um, special features. Here's Conan Lee. At the end, there's also Gordon Liu, who uh, you know the star of the Thirty Six Chambers of Shaolin, and he plays the bad guy. And at the end, there's a chainsaw fight, uh, that is uh, pretty pretty nice. So um, again, look at all the special features Hong Kong Legend is providing. So uh, really really uh, cool film. So, Tiger on the Beat. One of the best Kung Fu films of all time, Prodigal Son, starring Sam Wong and Yoing Biao. Uh, it's an uh, old school Kung Fu film, and Kung Fu film, a period film, and uh, the style in the movie is Wing Chun, and it's, it's incredible, guys. Training sequence and action sequence, one of the best. Another great one. This one is pretty expensive. Uh, if you want to track down the original Hong Kong Legend, uh, Knockabout. 
pretty much one of the best Young Yao uh, Kung Fu films. Again, uh, Sam Wong is directing and playing. Look at all the special features. That's why the Hong Kong Legend label is uh, is very special. Here it is. This is the label, Hong Kong Legend. Uh, Warriors 2. A great, great, great Wing Chun uh, film starring Kazanova Wang. He um, he was a Korean uh, uh, master kicker. He obviously uh, Taekwondo uh, master, and uh, he Sam Wang pushes him to his limit. That's what's cool about Sam Wang is when he's directing uh, action sequence, um, he's always uh, makes an effort to. Uh, uh, obtain the uh, maximum potential of his uh, Kung Fu star. So, great film. The Odd Couple. So, this one is very nice. I mean, all of the Hong Kong legend are classic guy. That's why they, I mean, they, there's no, uh, it's all different uh, company. There, there's Golden Harvest, there's independent movies, but all of the Hong Kong selec selection of films are all classics. So you will hear me say a lot of uh, classic, uh, the word classic, because uh, like, again this one is really cool, it's a sword master against a pole fighting master, and Sam Wong against Lao Ka Wing. Lao Ka Wing is the true brother of Lao Ka Long, the number one director of the Shahs, and uh, he is, uh, like his brother, a true uh, Kung Fu uh, master. Here it is. Iron Fist and Monk, uh, the directional debut of Sam Wong, old Kung Fu films. Very nice. <laughs> Look at all the special features. It's incredible. Uh, Skinny Tiger, Fatty Dragon, it's uh, more of a modern day Kung Fu film. Uh, pretty good, not his best, but you know, good film. Uh, ah, the Iceman Comet, this is pretty cool. I know uh, Donnie Yang uh, played in the remake that was uh, released recently, and uh, this one is, uh, is cool. It's a story uh, a bit like uh, Highlander, if you watched uh, that film. It's like um, it's, it's an old warrior that, is, that uh, comes to the future. Uh, to track down uh, his uh, arch enemy, so uh, pretty cool film. Game of Death 2. Now this film is is, is special because uh, it was uh, it's one of the best Bruce Lee exploitation film. Uh, you know when Bruce Lee died, a lot of uh, producer and director wanted to uh, gain uh, all the success that uh, Bruce Lee uh, had, and the. They started to uh, make film that uh, had uh, trying trying to emulate uh, Bruce Lee and um, and this is one of the best. It's a Game of Death 2. A lot of uh, great actors in those fi in uh, those movies in the in this movie. Pardon me. And uh, well, I mean uh, the the bad guy at the end is Huang Zhang Li, the master kicker for he here he is. The master kicker from uh, Drunken Master, Snake and Eagle, Shadow, and many, many, many uh, other Kung Fu classics. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this one is pretty cool. Game of Death. Two. Uh, Mr. Vampire. Now, in Hong Kong, um, the Kung Fu genre was very popular, but the horror Kung Fu genre was also very popular. And uh, this is one of the, um, the best franchise, Mr. Vampire. And this guy plays in uh, it's the um, Kung Fu master of Yang Biao in the Prodigal Son. So, uh, so there's Kung Fu with our element. If you think you, it's a good combination for you. Try to check this film out. This is a very really, really cool release. Um, I've been waiting a long time to um, to get the uh, uh, you know the the best release for the Bruce Lee films. Uh, to me, right now, this is still the best. I bought this a long time ago. It's the uh, platinum edition. So the Hong Kong Legend made a couple of uh, one of the a uh, couple of their release were platinum edition. That meant that uh, it had the uh, the whole treatment, two discs, two discs, and over four hours of special features. So that's pretty cool. And you had the original language uh, Mandarin uh, version, and uh, everything is remastered. Look at all the. Um, 
the, the features. So because the um, I think it's Shout Factory that uh, released the Blu-ray um, a Blu-ray uh, collection of the Bruce Lee films, but they were not really truly remastered. They were just upscale upscaled to 180p. So. Um, but to me right now uh, to have act to this this is the best version to have Fist of Fury the platinum edition of Hong Kong legend same thing here the big boss platinum edition of Bruce Lee same thing uh, two uh, two disc look at all the special feature so a really really cool film This is a pretty cool one. It stars uh, Michelle Yeoh and uh, Cynthia Rockrock, so two female cop. And uh, man, the, the action—it's a modern, uh, modern-day action film. But the hand-to-hand -hand combat and the action sequence are incredible. Those two girls are really, really, really good and very fast-paced and very demanding action. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Sam Wong who, direct, who directed this one. So. <laughs> As soon as you know Sam Wong is involved in the project, you can rest assured that you will have excellent Kung Fu sequence. This is one of my favorite uh, old school Kung Fu films. It's uh, Legend of a Fighter, starring Birdie, and uh, directed by Yang Wu Ping. Uh, it also stars one of my favorite actors. It's a Japanese... Uh, uh, back in the day in the 70s and 80s, uh, Japanese actors, uh, there were not too many that worked in, in Hong Kong uh, doing Kung Fu films. And uh, one of them was, uh, uh, if I can uh, find his name, is Kurata. Uh, his uh, last name is Kurata. He, he plays in, um, he fights Jet Li in uh, Fist of Legend. He is the, the uh, karate master. Uh, he's a very very skilled guy and uh, he's like uh, he's the bad guy but also he trains uh, uh, Birdie in the movie so very very nice film try to track down this film legend of a fighter very nice now another classic ninja in a dragon's den I talked about this one in the beginning of the video uh, starring Conan Lee now Conan Lee it's a funny story because Conan Lee um, uh, was bound to becoming a superstar 